Ma. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I just dropped by to sit down. Ma, I'm very busy. I am working. Yeah, do you know how impossible it is to find a place in Manhattan to sit down? Ma, please. Uh, honey, everything is covered with something sticky. <laughs> or dusty. <laughs> All right, let's get it over with. Tell me why it is you're sitting down in town rather than up in the Bronx. I am beat. I have been running around checking out nursing homes for Grandma Morgenstern. I thought Grandma was very happy at Rest Haven. Yeah, well, she was too happy. A couple of weeks ago, she entertained a 93-year-old man in her room. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. I mean, you know, uh, that a person her age uh, is still so full of life. Unfortunately, the old man isn't. Ma, I can't talk any longer, really. I have got to finish this work. All right, you work. You go ahead. Yeah. Ma, please. I'm in your way, huh? Right. Okay, I'll go get a bite to eat. Bye. Uh, I'll go down to the uh, corner to one of those filthy, greasy diners. A lot of strange people. Dope fiends, maybe. <laughs> we'll try and grab my purse. But I'll fight back with what little strength I have. <laughs> Sounds like fun, Ma. Have a good time. <laughs> I want you to know I have enjoyed being your mother. And I have enjoyed being your burden. I can't come in. But I, 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 got, I got good news. No, 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 no. Ma, let Brenda in. If she stays, I stay. Don't stay, stay. What, what, Brenda? What's the good news? I got a raise. Oh, terrific. Yeah, yeah, I got terrific. a raise. I can't believe it. I am now making $650 a month. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't sound like a lot to you, Rhoda, but it's a lot to me. No, Brenda, that sounds like a lot to me. Yeah. Hey, sweetheart, I am proud of you. <laughs> Doesn't that sound wonderful, Rhoda? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, wonderful. Wrong. something strange just happened. Your mouth said wonderful, but your face said go eat a rat. <laughs> Really, I'm very happy for you. It's yeah. just that it suddenly struck me. My little baby sister is earning more money than I am. Oh, no. Come on, I'm not. Yes, yes, you are, kiddo. Well, all right, all right. So I'm making a little more money than you are. But, Ro, all I have is a job. You got a whole career. Mm -hmm. Something you're really good at. Something you really love. One problem, Bren. Lately, I am not loving it a lot. I, I just can't get excited about this. I mean, it's boring. That's not boring. It isn't very good, but it's not boring. No, what I'm saying is I've been window dressing for 12 years now, right? I'm, I've done all there is to do. I've dressed every dummy in this town. <laughs> but what am I talking about? I mean, uh, window dressing is all I know. So. No, it isn't. Come on, no. You went to art school. You studied a lot of different subjects there, not just window dressing. There are a million things you can do. Don't yeah. listen to her. You have a good job here. You stick to it. Wait till something better comes along. You mean like marriage? No, not like marriage. Marriage. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor here. I can save you a bundle on all this stuff. They're all great clothes. They're just a little irregular. Irregular? Oh, I don't see anything wrong with this blouse. Those are pants. Randy, you in there? Okay. Yeah. Hi, Rob. Oh, hi, Gary. Hi, Good, you? you're here, too. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, Gary's trying to sell me some clothes. Oh, hey, nice blouse. <laughs> Maybe it is, huh? So, um, I've got a very big announcement to make. Yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah. Will you guys sit down? Yeah, sure. Great. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. All right, so what is it? All right, okay, let me let me put this uh, right. Yeah. Uh, I just made a drastic change in my life. She bought a bra. <laughs> no, Brent. Uh, the last few days, I've given a lot of thought to uh, what we discussed the other day. Yeah. And what, it, what, what, what? 
Oh, I'm just so bored with window dressing, Gare. So I've decided to change careers. No kidding. Yeah, I'm not kidding. No, in fact, today I went to an employment agency, and they're going to send me out on a lot of job interviews. Terrific. Oh, yeah, For yeah. what? For what? Oh, art director, costume designer, packaging designer. Brenda, they said I, I had a lot of talent in all these areas. So, by this time next week, I will not only have a job I love, I will know what it is. <laughs> school prom, you came home at 4 a.m.? Yeah. Or Raven? <laughs> What's in the bag? Groceries for Rhoda. Oh, yeah, you too, huh? Yeah, she's down to rock bottom. Look, I even bought her some strawberries to cheer her up. You're a little spender, aren't you? Well, she's been so depressed lately. I mean, she's been out looking for a job now for three weeks. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> My whole family is falling apart. Your sister's out of work. Your grandmother is out to lunch. <laughs> Do you know how to help her up with her pantyhose today? They were so tight, they were strangling her. Really? Pantyhose never did that to me. She was wearing them over her face. <laughs> well, hi. Hi, hi you hi. two. Well, what are you two doing here? And what is all of this? That is called food. You see, it's been so long, she's forgotten what it is. <laughs> Very, very sweet of you, but it isn't, things are not that bad. I mean, it has not reached the point where I have to take food from... Ooh, look at these gorgeous strawberries. <laughs> Ma, you remembered how much I love strawberries. Hey, I'm your mother. <laughs> well, a mother always remembers. Uh, <clears throat> Rhoda, I'm... Brenda, you don't want to kill a beautiful moment. Do you? <laughs> so, darling, any luck? Yeah, all of it bad. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, listen, why don't you go back to, you know, doing windows and just call your clients. Swallow your pride. My, swallowed it last week. Nearly choked. They already hired other people. Yeah. Listen, why don't you just take <sighs> your mind off things for a while? Do something exciting. I know, why don't you uh, put the groceries away? Oh, yes, that would be a great deal of fun. Yeah, right. Uh, why don't you help me put the celery in the icebox? <laughs> Hey, Rhoda! Rhoda, look at this. Look at this. I found a $20 bill on the floor. Must have fallen out of your purse. Impossible. I didn't have a $20 bill. Well, it has to be yours. I know it's not mine. Brent, I'm telling you, I know that it's not my 20. Well, it's probably mine, then. <laughs> Rhoda... Darling, I want you to have it. Oh, no, no, no. no. You are embarrassing me, Ma. I please, can't. Please, no, please, darling. Ma. Please take it. All right, but only if I can pay you back. Okay, that's a deal. Listen, you. you can help, too. Loan your sister some money. Uh, Ma, I... I... Brenda. Okay, hey, sure. Sure, sure. No, 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 Brenda. No, no, please. No, I won't take please, it. Please, I will not take, take it. Take a 20. Take a 20, please. Take it. But I'm going to pay you back, too. Okay. Come on, she just got a big raise. She doesn't have to pay you back, does she, Brenda, right? Right, Ma. I don't believe this. Look at me. Oh. Accepting money from my mother and my sister. That's about as low as a person can get. Yeah, Carlton. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Uh -huh. Brenda tells me you've hit hard times. Well, Carlton, yeah. Well, things are looking up. A girl I know moved away and can't work, so there's a spot open. Oh, yeah? Where is it? Right in front of the building. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Do you have a fur mini skirt and white boots? <laughs> Electric broom and the dishes. Can you name three of Brenda? Jaja Gabor's yeah. husbands? 
Just George a second. Or Saunders. Right. Conrad Hilton and, and Eddie Fisher. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry, but Hi. Mr. Wonder, you know, buy a what you doing? Nothing. Want to join me? <sighs> Rhoda. Yeah. Rhoda, I want you to look at yourself. You have not left this apartment for days. You're not even trying to get a job. Brenda, my dear, what you do not know is that last Wednesday, 3.15 p.m., after pounding the pavement for a solid month, I, Rhoda Morgenstern, surrendered. Really, literally, I stood in the middle of Times Square with a white handkerchief in my left hand, waved it furiously, and said, I give up. <laughs> you really did that? Yes. And you know the most depressing part? There was somebody standing right next to me doing the same thing. <laughs> Okay, Rhoda, Rhoda, you have got to snap yes, out of this. I... Pull yourself Brenda. together. You cannot give up. Do you hear me? Brenda, I'm unemployed, uh... not deaf. <laughs> That's okay. Look, I just looked everywhere. There are no jobs out there, Brenda. I have talked to everybody who's looking for help. Aha. Uh -huh. But have you talked to anybody who is not looking for help? <laughs> no, Rhoda, listen to me. Listen to me. What? You think that nobody wants they you? Don't. They just don't know that they want you. Rhoda, create a job. Not just a job, a career. Knock on doors. Force your way in if you have to. That's the Rhoda I love. The pushy, obnoxious Rhoda. <laughs> I don't know that I have it in me anymore, Bryn. Oh, sure you do. You can still be rude. <laughs> well, how do I start? How do you start? Listen, I got it, I got it. Here's what you do. You know the kinds of careers you want, right? Yeah. So what you do is go through the phone book. Write down all the names of the places that you think might fit in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Brenda, your energy is inspiring. You're right, I shouldn't give up. Starting right now, I'm gonna create a nice positive attitude. I'm gonna leaf through this book and then set my sights on becoming a, a, a blacksmith. <laughs> Jack Doyle, how did lucky lady do in the third in Aqueduct? She came in first. Great, great, great. Bad news? What do you mean, bad news? The jockey came in second? <laughs> the saddle came in third. Talk to you tomorrow, Rocco. <laughs> Um, I'm looking for Jack Doyle. What for? Well, I'm looking for a job. He's dead. <laughs> oh, gee, I'm sorry. Don't be. He was a real jerk. Can I have a minute of your time? Great. Um, I've been a window dresser for 12 years now. First in department stores, and then I had my very own business. Uh, and I've had a great deal of experience in the area of design. I, <laughs> I graduated from art school, and I, I had a year and a half of costume design. And I feel like... A complete fool. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you aware that you walked out of the room while I was speaking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get the picture. Thank you very much. Forget it. Goodbye. Ah! Oh. oh, wonderful. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Even my shoes are falling apart. Oh. I'm sorry. I really forgive me. I, I just, I'm so exhausted. I have been to 20 places today. 20. I have had doors slammed in my face. I've been insulted. I had to listen to crude propositions. And it's all my fault, see? I should not have given up any of my accounts. I had a bird in the hand. Now I got an empty bush. <laughs> Hey, listen, mister, do you have a, do you have a Kleenex? No. I bought a box, but people kept using them. <laughs> oh, could I use this? Do you mind? Go ahead. Thank you. 
<laughs> Will you want me to put the spears? I know a place. <laughs> hey, Jack, could I take him home with me? What for? Help me get a seat in the subway. Lay him in the back. Okay, Jack. Oh, Jack. What? Ah, I thought he called you Jack. Jack, you are Jack. You are Jack Doyle. You lied to me. You liar. You told me that you were dead. Okay, okay. It was terrible of me. Let me be honest with you. I'm alive. How could you do it? How could you be so cold, so heartless, when you saw how desperate for a job I was? Oh, you got to be the rudest person I ever met. You never met my wife. I would, I would be afraid to meet the woman who married you. I would, too. She died 10 years ago. Oh, forgive me. It wasn't entirely your fault. <laughs> do you hear a uh, yeah. Good. For a minute, I thought it was me. <laughs> Doyle Costumes. Hey, Herman. The Wizard of Oz? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't have a lion suit. Couldn't you make it a cowardly horse? <laughs> well, I can't help you. You still here? Yeah, and can I make a suggestion? Sure. If you make it from the elevator on your way down. You know you're stupid. Stupid? Yes. If I'm so stupid, how come I got a job and you don't? If you're so smart, how come you don't have a lion suit? Because they're too expensive to stock. You got a bear suit? Sure. Everybody's got a bear suit. <laughs> okay. Okay. You take the lion's mane and you glue it around the bear's head. Then you put whiskers under the nose, under the chin. You got a lion. Granted, an ugly one, but a lion. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So you don't know it, but you need me. I mean, you turn business away. I can design costumes. I can do bookkeeping. I can deal with the customers. If you're in the back, I can answer the phone. Is it ringing? Uh, no, no. Mr. Doyle, what I'm telling you is I could be of tremendous assistance to you. I'll tell you what, I'll think about it. Call me in a couple of days. No, no, no. Make your decision right now. Trust your instincts. What do you say? No. Okay. Take your time. I'll call you in a couple of days. Look, 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 I'll call you. Look, look, look. Sit down. Sit down. Yes? There's no job. <laughs> and even if there was, you wouldn't like it here. I know. You're thinking, well, uh, he's just in a bad mood today. This is as good as it gets. Look, I don't care if you keep dead fish in your shirt. I need a job. I can't afford to hire you. Don't pay me a salary. Give me a commission. Okay. You're a lieutenant. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what I'm saying is no salary whatsoever. No salary? Right. You, you pay me, say, 20% of all the new business I bring in. Say 5%. Say 5% twice. 10%? If you say so, it's a deal. <laughs> okay. It's a deal. Oh, it's a deal. Good. Yeah, Thank wait, you. wait, Thank wait, you so wait, much. wait. You won't be sorry. Wait, hey, if we're going to work together, there's something I got to know about you. Oh, sure. Anything. What the hell is your name? Rhoda Morgenstern. <laughs> okay, Morgenstern. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Great. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, as you know, my. Uh, Heel is broken. C could you lend me something to wear home tonight? Sure. Thank you. What size do you wear? Seven or nine? <laughs> there. There. That ought to do it. Uh, there. Thank you, Ramon. Here, okay? You know what I can do? I uh, know what? I can hold my breath for five minutes. Great. Uh, this may be a stupid question, but uh, what good is that? Oh, well, suppose you and I are working late here one night. Mm -hmm. Some maniac walks in from off the street with a gun. And he says, I will shoot the first person who cannot hold his breath for five minutes. <laughs> you know what will happen? Uh, no. I will be alive and you will be dead. I see, Ramon. I, I never uh, thought about that. You better start thinking. Hey, Jack. Yeah? 
Herman Paul before. In addition to the lion suit, yeah. I rented him 21 munchkin costumes. Well, we don't have any. Oh, 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 yes, we do. I am using three sets of the seven dwarf costumes. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Get his luck. Hold him, Morgan Stern. Did you touch my donuts? Uh, what? There were two jelly donuts in this box. My jelly donuts. Mine. What happened to them? Yeah, I, I know, Jack. Well, I, I ate one of them. You ate one of my jelly donuts. Yeah. That was my jelly donut. I know. You don't eat another person's jelly donut. <laughs> Where's my jelly donut? What happened to the jelly donut? The other one I... Yeah. Oh, I, I think I put it on your desk. Perhaps it's uh, under your uh, clipboard. There. There it is. Hey, you want a bear claw instead? Not funny. Excuse me, I'm looking for Rhoda Morgenstern. Oh, yeah. You must be one of the Munchkins. No, I'm Ida Morgenstern, Rhoda's mother. <clears throat> you could be both. You, Doyle? Yeah? Well, we've established the fact that you think you're funny and you're not. <laughs> Listen, what do you want with me? Uh, not very much, but if you're going to hire my daughter and work with her as a taxpayer and a mother, I feel I have a right to know a few things. Are you after her body? <laughs> no, I got my own. <laughs> looks of it, you've got yours and somebody else's. Don't make me mad. I had more than you for breakfast. Listen, if you're good to my daughter, you could be a very happy man. Why? Because if Rhoda is happy, I will not come around here. <laughs> you got it. Hey, Ma, I, I see you two have met. Yeah, huh? right. Well, Jack, we're going to lunch. Would you care to join us? Could I speak to a minute, Rhoda? Yes. <laughs> Why would you ask him to lunch? Two's company, six is a crowd. Oh, Ma, please, listen. This man is someone that I'm going to work with, hopefully for a long time. It would be real nice if you two could get along. Get along with anybody. Uh, Mr. Doyle, mm -hmm. care to join us for lunch? Sure. You buying? Sure, I'll buy you lunch. One day, you can pay me back. You can buy me a car. <laughs> See, I can get along with anybody. <laughs> Come on, Jumbo, let's eat. I put my breath for five minutes. Great. Uh, this may be a stupid question, but uh, what good is that? Oh, well, suppose you and I working late here one night. Mm -hmm. Some maniac walks in from off the street with a gun. And he says, I will shoot the first person who cannot hold his breath for five minutes. <laughs> you know what will happen? Uh, no. I will be alive, and you will be dead. I see, Ramon. I, I never uh, thought about that. You better start thinking. Hey, Jack. Yeah? Herman Paul before. In addition to the lion suit, yeah. I rented him 21 munchkin costumes. Well, we don't have any. Oh, 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 yes, we do. I am using three sets of the seven dwarf costumes. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Get his luck. Hold him, Morgan Stern. Did you touch my donuts? Uh, what? There were two jelly donuts in this box. My jelly donuts. Mine. What happened to them? Yeah, I, I know, Jack. Well, I, I ate one of them. You ate one of my jelly donuts. Yeah. That was my jelly donut. I know. You don't eat another person's jelly donut. <laughs> Where's my jelly donut? What happened to the jelly donut? The other one I... Yeah. Oh, I, I think I put it on your desk. Perhaps it's uh, under your uh, clipboard. There. There it is. Hey, you want a bear claw instead? Not funny. Excuse me, I'm looking for Rhoda Morgenstern. Oh, yeah. You must be one of the Munchkins. No, 
I'm Ida Morgan Stern, Rhoda's mother. <clears throat> you could be both. <laughs> you, Doyle? Yeah? Well, we've established the fact that you think you're funny and you're not. <laughs> Listen, what do you want with me? Uh, not very much, but if you're going to hire my daughter and work with her as a taxpayer and a mother, I feel I have a right to know a few things. Are you after her body? <laughs> no, I got my own. <laughs> looks of it, you've got yours and somebody else's. Don't make me mad. I had more than you for breakfast. Listen, if you're good to my daughter, you could be a very happy man. Why? Because if Rhoda is happy, I will not come around here. <laughs> you got it. Hey, Mom. I, I see you two have met. Yeah, hmm. right. Well, Jack, we're going to lunch. Would you care to join us? Could I speak to you a minute, Rhoda? Yes. <laughs> Why would you ask him to lunch? Two's company, six is a crowd. Friend of the building. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Do you have a fur mini skirt and white boots? <laughs>
I'll fight back with what little strength I have. <laughs> Sounds like fun, Ma. Have a good time. <laughs> I want you to know I have enjoyed being your mother. And I have enjoyed being your burden. <laughs> I can't come in. But I, 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 got, I got good news. No, 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 no. Ma, let Brenda in. If she stays, I stay. Don't stay, stay. What? What, Brenda? What's the good news? I got a raise. Oh, terrific! Yeah, yeah, I got terrific. a raise. I can't believe it. I am now making $650 a month. I know it doesn't sound like a lot to you, Rhoda, but it's a lot to me. No, Brenda, that sounds like a lot to me. Yeah. Hey, sweetheart, I am proud of you. Doesn't that sound wonderful, Rhoda? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, wonderful. Wrong. something strange just happened. Your mouth said wonderful, but your face said go eat a rat. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm very happy for you. It's yeah. just that it suddenly struck me. My little baby sister is earning more money than I am. Oh, no, come on, I'm not. Yes, yes, you are, kiddo. Well, all right, all right, so I'm making a little more money than you are. But, Ro, all I have is a job. You got a whole career. Something you're really good at. Something you really love. One problem, Bren. Lately, I am not loving it a lot. I, I just can't get excited about this. I mean, it's boring. That's not boring. It isn't very good, but it's not boring. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is I've been window dressing for 12 years now, right? I'm, I've done all there is to do. I've dressed every dummy in this town. <laughs> But what am I talking about? <laughs> I mean, uh, window dressing is all I know. So. No, it isn't. Come on, Ro. You went to art school. You studied a lot of different subjects there, not just window dressing. There are a million things you can do. No, yeah. Miss. I can hold my breath for five minutes. Great. Yeah, this may be a stupid question, but uh, what good is that? Oh, well, suppose you and I working late here one night. Mm -hmm. Some maniac walks in from off the street with a gun. And he says, I will shoot the first person who cannot hold his breath for five minutes. <laughs> you know what will happen? Uh, no. I will be alive, and you will be dead. I see, Ramon. I, I never uh, thought about that. You better start thinking. <laughs> hey, Jack. Yeah? Herman called before. In addition to the lion suit, yeah. I rented him 21 munchkin costumes. Well, we don't have any. Oh, yes, we do. I am using three sets of the seven dwarf costumes. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Guinness luck. Hold them, Morgenstern. Did you touch my donuts? Uh, what? There were two jelly donuts in this box. My jelly donuts. Mine. What happened to them? Yeah, I, I know, Jack. Well, I, I ate one of them. You ate one of my jelly donuts? Yeah. That was my jelly donut. I know. You don't eat another person's jelly donut. <laughs> Where's my jelly donut? What happened to the jelly donut? The other one I... Yeah. Oh, I, I think I put it on your desk. Per perhaps it's uh, under your uh, clipboard. There. Uh, there it is. Hey, you want a bear claw instead? Not funny. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for Rhoda Morgenstern. Oh, yeah. You must be one of the monsters. <laughs> no, I'm Ida Morgenstern, Rhoda's mother. <clears throat> you could be both. You, Doyle? Yeah? Well, we've established the fact that you think you're funny and you're not. <laughs> Listen, what do you want with me? Uh, not very much, but if you're going to hire my daughter and work with her as a taxpayer and a mother, I feel I have a right to know a few things. Are you after her body? <laughs> no, I got my own. From the looks of it, you've got yours and somebody else's. Don't make me mad. I had more than you for breakfast. Listen, if you're good to my daughter, you could be a very happy man. Why? Because if Rhoda is happy, I will not come around here. <laughs> you got it. Hey, Mom. I, I see you two have met. Yeah, huh? right. Well, Jack, we're going to lunch. Would you care to join us? Could I speak to a minute, Mom? Yes. 
Why would you ask him to lunch? Two's company. Oh, that's very, very sweet of you, but it is, things are not that bad. I mean, it has not reached the point where I have to take food from... Ooh, look at these gorgeous strawberries. Mm -hmm. Ma, you remembered how much I love strawberry. Hey, I'm your mother. <laughs> well, a mother always remembers. Uh, <clears throat> Rhoda, I... Brenda, you don't want to kill a beautiful moment. <laughs> Any luck? Yeah, all of it bad. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, listen, why don't you go back to, you know, doing windows and just call your clients. Swallow your pride. Ma, I swallowed it last week. Nearly choked. They already hired other people. Yeah. Listen, why don't you just take your mind off things for a while? Do something exciting. I know, why don't you uh, put the groceries away? Oh, yes, that would be a great deal of fun. Yeah, right. Uh, why don't you help me put the celery in the icebox? <laughs> hey, Rhoda! Rhoda, look at this. Look at this. I found a $20 bill on the floor. Must have fallen out of your purse. Impossible. I didn't have a $20 bill. Well, it has to be yours. I know it's not mine. Brent, I'm telling you, I know that it's not my 20 Well, it's probably mine, then. <laughs> Rhoda... Darling, I want you to have it. Oh, no, no, no. You are embarrassing me, Ma. I please, can't. Please, no, please, darling. Please take it. All right, but only if I can pay you back. Okay, that's a deal. Listen, you. you can help, too. Loan your sister some money. Uh, Ma, I... I... Brenda. Okay, hey, sure. Sure, sure. No, 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 Brenda. No, no, please. No, no, I won't take please, it. Please, I, I will not take, take it. Take a 20. Take a 20. Please, take it. But I'm going to pay you back, too, Okay. Come on, she just got a big raise. She doesn't have to pay you back, does she, Brenda, right? Right, Ma. <laughs> I don't believe this. Look at me. Oh. Accepting money from my mother and my sister. That's about as low as a person can get. Yeah, Carlton. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Uh -huh. Brenda tells me you've hit hard times. Well, Carlton, yeah. Well, things are looking up. A girl I know moved away and can't work, so there's a spot open. Oh, yeah? Where is it? Right in front of the building. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Do you have a fur mini skirt and white boots? <laughs> Electric broom and the dishes. Can you name three of Brenda, Georgia Gabor's yeah. husbands? Yeah, just George a second. Or Saunders. Right. Conrad Hilton and, and Eddie Fisher. Hi. Oh, oh, wonderful. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Even my shoes are falling apart. I'm sorry. I really forgive me. I, I just, I'm so exhausted. I have been to 20 places today. 20. I have had doors slammed in my face. I've been insulted. I had to listen to crude propositions. And it's all my fault, see? I should not have given up any of my accounts. I had a bird in my hand. Now I got an empty bush. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hey, listen, mister, do you have a, do you have a Kleenex? No. I bought a box, but people kept using them. Oh, could I use this? Do you mind? Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Will you want me to put the spears? I know a place. <laughs> hey, Jack, could I take him home with me? What for? You help me get a seat in the subway. Lay him in the back. Okay, Jack. Oh, Jack. What? Ah, I thought he called you Jack. Jack, you are Jack. You are Jack Doyle. You lied to me. You liar. You told me that you were dead. Okay, okay. It was terrible of me. Let me be honest with you. I'm alive. How could you do it? How could you be so cold, so heartless, when you saw how desperate for a job I was? Oh, you got to be the rudest person I ever met. You never met my wife. I would, I would be afraid to meet the woman who married you. I would, too. She died 10 years ago. 
forgive me. It wasn't entirely your fault. <laughs> Do you hear a phone ringing? Uh, yeah. Good. For a minute, I thought it was me. <laughs> Doyle Costumes. Hey, Herman. The Wizard of Oz? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't have a lion suit. Couldn't you make it a cowardly horse? <laughs> well, I can't help you. You still here? Yeah, and can I make a suggestion? Sure, if you make it from the elevator on your way down. You know you're stupid. Stupid? Yes. If I'm so stupid, how come I got a job and you don't? Okay, if you're so smart, how come you don't have a lion suit? Because they're too expensive to stock. You got a bear suit? Sure, everybody's got a bear suit. <laughs> okay, okay. You take the lion's mane and you glue it around the bear's head. Then you put whiskers under the nose, under the chin. You got a lion. Granted, an ugly one, but...